In this question here, we want to determine the value for y such that the four points shown all lie on the same plane. In other words, the four points shown are all going to be coplanar. The way that we're going to approach this is we're going to imagine the vector AD and imagine the vector uh, CD. And we're going to see that the vector AD and the vector CD are non-zero, non-collinear vectors. That means that they span a plane in three dimensions, a two-dimensional plane in three dimensions. What we're then going to do is determine the vector BD and figure out the value for y that enables the vector BD to be a linear combination of AD and CD. Sounds complicated, but let's get to it. The vector AD is 1 minus negative 4, 1 minus 6, 2 minus 1. The vector CD is 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2, 2 minus 5. And the vector BD is 1 minus 6, 1 minus y, 2 minus 3. So we need for this vector to be a linear combination of these two. Okay? So AD is 5, negative 5, 1. CD is negative 1, negative 1, 3. And BD is negative 5, 1 minus y, negative 1. Okay, well let's set it up. BD is now a linear combination of each of the other two vectors. That means that negative 5 is equal to 5m minus n. That means that 1 minus y is equal to negative 5m minus n. And finally, that means that negative 1 is equal to m minus 3n. Well, um, let's skip equation 2 for the moment, and let's focus in on equations 1 and 3. Focusing only in on equations 1 and 3, we see that we've got two equations, two unknowns. And we can solve that out. What we can do is we can uh, simply uh, multiply equation 3 by uh, 5, setting up an elimination of the m terms. Terms, And when we do that, we get 0 equaling 14n. So clearly, n has to equal 0. What we can then do is uh, determine what m equals by plugging it into equation 3. Negative 1 is going to be m minus 3 times 0, so m is going to equal negative 1. So we know that n is 0 and m is negative 1. Is that enough for us to solve for y? It sure is. We go back to equation 2 and we see that 1 minus y is going to be negative 5 times m. 1 minus y is negative 5 times m minus n. So negative 5 times negative 1 minus 0. So 1 minus y is 5, which means y is negative 4. So we know that if y is negative 4, that these three, excuse me, these four points all lie on the same plane.